gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avriel R32 here as I pull back my curtain on this beautiful but rainy day. Avriel R32 here, destroy the ever living boopoo stain off that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher the 1400 ladder. Y'all, I have some alcohol in my body. I am ready to party. That actually kind of rhymes. I'm sorry about all the all the uh, all the rhymes. All of the ads is always on YGO Organization. Y'all need to fix your crap, YGO Organization. We got too many ads. I'm going to start using some ad blocks. We got to talk about the new Dia Bellstar, the Black Witch support, because honestly, I'm so ready to rant because I'm so pissed that they are giving more Dia Bellstar support. I don't care that Snake Eyes is like separate from Dia Bellstar. It's all the same food group in my mind. So we're going to talk about the new support, and uh, we're, we're going to rant hard because some of this stuff... Is actually really broken and normally I would be excited to talk about this new stuff but I'm actually really pissed about it because I'm so sick of simple spoils garbage anyway this is the trap card so hopefully it won't see play because it's a trap because it's garbage simple spoil offenders you can only use the first second effect of this card saving each one per turn if your opponent's best soul summons a monster monster from the deck in her extra deck and you control a DFL star monster card so it has to be a monster not in the back row Target one monster they control, shuffle into the deck. During the damage step, if your DL Bellstar monster battles an opponent's monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. That opponent's monster attack becomes halved to the end of this turn. Not the best thing, but it's at least something I want to bring up before we talk about the main support. Um, this is Asminia, or Azamina, uh, Azamabito from Attack on Titan, the Azamabito family. Whatever the hell, however you want to pronounce this crap. These cards are broken, and I'm getting really sick. Of seeing broken Snake Eyes Dia Bell Star support, like I'm, I'm really tired of it, and it really has me pissed off. So I'm not gonna, I don't care about the lore of this crap. Let's just dive on into it. This is Azamina Rea Silveria, so it shares the name with the White Forest monster, the White Forest Silveria monster. I'm sure it all ties into their garbage lore somehow. This is a Dark Illusion Fusion Effect monster, level six, 19 hour attack, 15 hour defense. One Illusion monster plus one Light Spellcaster monster. That's really not hard to pull off, especially in White Forest, but whatever. You can only use the second and third effect of this card in each once per turn. Any battle damage your Azamina monsters, other than Silveria, afflict your opponents is doubled. That's busted. When your opponent activates a harder effect, quick effect, you contribute this card, negate the fucking effect. <laughs> Did we not learn anything from Baron de Fleur? Jesus Christ. I'm so sick of this snake eye shit. I read this card last night. It was like 1 o'clock in the morning. I literally couldn't sleep, y'all. That's how fucking pissed I was about this. Did we not learn anything from just being able to crap out these Omni Negates that are so busted? And you might be thinking, Avery, you gotta, you know, use... I don't know, fucking Chimera Fusion or Polymerization to fuse these two together. There's a spell card where you can literally just send OSS and make this fucking thing. And it's it's so toxic. Anyway, I'll continue. You'll see what I mean. If this card's destroyed by battle or by card effect, you don't have a simple spools trap from your deck to hand. Because why not, right? Uh, this is Azamina Moon Risalago. Uh, shares the name with Rissalia, so probably some lore-related crap where you just play it with White Forest. Dark Illusion Fusion Effect Monster, level 6, 2000 tech, 2400 defense, 1 Illusion Monster plus a Light Spellcaster Monster. You can only use the first and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card's Fusion Summon, you can add 1 Azamina or Simple Spoils card from your deck to your hand. Because <laughs> why not at this point? Shit's already tier 0. Let's make it tier negative 10. Monsters your opponent controls lose 5 or attack and defense for each Azamina monster you control, because we want to be tier 0. If this card's destroyed by battle by card effect, you can add a Simple Spoils spell from your deck to your hand, because we want to be broken. <laughs> Shit's ridiculous. <laughs> Next up is Azamina Soul Ekarikaton, or whatever. Dark Illusion Fusion Effect, uh, level 6, 27 hour attack, zero defense. Illusion Monster plus a Fiend. <laughs> Congratulations. You have mixed in the Fiend Smith cards with this archetype. Like, you can sequentia into this, right? Like, uh, even though it's a Dark Illusion, like, I'm pretty sure you just fuse Fiend Smith the Graver with an Illusion Monster. Like, this shit's so broken. Like, it's so stupid. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card's fusion something, you can target a card on the field, send it to the graveyard. Sure, because that's not broken on Fiendsmith Engraver. Let's just target a card. Don't even pop it. Just send the shit to grave. 
during each standby phase, during each standby phase, so both the opponents and yours, you can target an Azamina or Simple Spoils card in your grave, add it to your hand. Sure, like let's just continue to be tier zero. This is Azamina More Reginia, uh, Dark Illusion Fusion Effect, 3,000 attack, 2,000 defense, level 8. One illusion plus one level 6 or higher fiend monster. There's a reason why I'm really emphasizing the levels here. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can target one illusion monster in your graveyard except Virginia, special summon it. When a simple spoil uh, or as a mean a card effect is activated except Virginia, quick effect, you can target up to two cards on the field and destroy them. Cool! So I activate OSS. Not only does that give me full combo, but now I can pop two of your cards and I can chain block the OSS. Because think about it. It says when. Right? So you activate OSS, you send for cost, you chain this fusion, target two cards. The opponent is now responding to your fusion monster. So now they can't even ash the OSS. <laughs> this stuff is so broken, and I'm so sick of this garbage. Oh my god. Okay, so the brain and the plant thing. This this must be good for fiber or something, since there's a brain inside of a plant. Anyway, this is Sacred Azamina. I mean, yeah, this card's busted. You can only use the second effect of this card theme once per turn. Reveal one Azamina fusion monster in your extra deck. And send one simple spoils card from your hand and or field to the graveyard for every four levels it has. If those cards are set, reveal them. Then special summon the revealed monster. This is treated as a fusion summon. If this card is in your grave, you can target one Azamina monster you control or in your graveyard. Shuffle into the deck, and if you do, add this card to your hand. Do you know what's missing from this card? This is not a once per turn, ladies and gentlemen. This card is fucking busted. So what you mean to tell me is that in a perfect world, right, you can go dump a card from hand, summon Black Witch. Black Witch effect gets you OSS. Activate Sacred Azamina, send OSS, make one of the level 6s, because remember, it's for every 4 levels, so anything that's level 7 or below, you just send one um, Simple Spoils uh, spell, or does it say spell or trap, or is it just spell? Um, one Simple Spoils card, excuse me, sorry, Tier 0 deck, excuse me, I didn't mean to down fucking play you. <laughs> so, you send any Simple Spoils card, so like, let's say you send OSS, you can cheese out the level 6 that is an Omni Negate. You can cheese out this Silveria thing. This is where the rant comes in. I am so sick and tired of these cards that have like three to five effects that can like pay your mortgage and like also win you a duel at the same time. I'm so sick of this crap. Does I don't think anybody can argue we are all sick and tired of Snake Eyes crap. I don't care if it's specifically Dia Bellstar related. That is like trying to take, I don't know, uh, Fallen of Albaz out of branded decks. Or even like Visa Starfrost out of like all of these decks that can play Visa Starfrost. Because like every other fusion spell that's made in Yu-Gi-Oh! now searches Visa Starfrost. There's like six or seven fusion spells that can search Visa Starfrost. Uh, Dia Bellstar the Black Witch... Any of the Dio Bellstar cards are specifically tied to Snake Eye and Simple Spoil cards. I do not care if these cards are garbage in the context of it is only Dio Bellstar support. Because at the end of the day, you are still going to play Snake Eye's cards with Dio Bellstar the Black Witch. And vice versa. The fact that now we have gone from Shadal Fusion being able to dump monsters from the deck to the grave, going to Branded Fusion, which can also dump cards from deck to grave, Miracle Fusion being able to banish cards from grave, and Super Poly being able to fuse from either field, to now we have a spell card that says, hey, send one simple spoils card from hand or field to grave to make a level 6 Omni Negate. Did we not learn anything with Baron A. De Fleur being played in every other deck in the game? Like, there's... In my video I posted yesterday, I talked about how a lot of uh, board breakers have been coming in in place of hand traps. And this is just much more of a reason why. Because these people can build boards. These these snake eye decks can build boards like it's nobody's business. And if you're blowing your hand traps on like Fiendsmith Engine, and they're ending on like a Beatrice or a Wave High King before they've even committed their normal summon then, like, you're just blowing three or four or five hand traps. At that point, you're just bricking because then you're relying on a top deck just to try and stop them from playing. 
what if you play against this stuff and you're trying to hand trap them into oblivion? Like, literally, you dump the OSS, you can banish OSS, put, like, what, a Black Witch from Grave or Field into the deck, whatever it does, you search a level 1 fire. Congratulations, you've now searched Snake Eye Ash without blowing your normal summon with this new support. Congratulations, you've now searched Poplar without blowing your normal summon. Now you can go Poplar, get the Temple, get the Snake Eye's Diabell Star, or just normal summon Snake Eye Ash and make full board. I'm so sick of these cards, you guys. I, depending on what happens on a balance, or like what someone commented on my video from yesterday talking about how this is like the fourth year cycle of like no new master rule changes. Maybe we get a master rule change that kind of pulls these cards back, but I don't think that's going to happen because I really don't want any other new rules in Yu-Gi-Oh. They're going to have to make a balance that's like 30 or 40 changes or incorporate set rotation. I'm Because all of these cards are so busted and it's, it's getting ridiculous. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive into this here. This is Azamina Ophelitis or whatever. Quick play spell. You can only use one of the first and second effect of this card's name for turn only once that turn. Sure. Like, who cares at this point? It might as well just say if you activate this card, you win the fucking duel. During the main phase, you reveal one Azamina Fusion monster in your extra deck. Send one simple spoils card from your hand in or field to the grave for every four levels it has. If those cards are set, reveal them. Then special summon the revealed monster that's treated as a fusion summon. During your main phase, you can banish this card from your grave, target it as a mean monster in your grave, special summon it. Sure, let's summon back the frickin' Omni Negate. Like, this is insane. And then Azamina Hamatara, normal trap, you can only use one of the first and second effect of this card to return only once that turn. Reveal an Azamina Fusion Monster in your extra deck, shuffle a simple spoils from card from your graveyard and your banishment in the deck for every four levels it has, special summon the real monster trees and fusion summon. Banish this card from your graveyard, target a simple spoil spell or trap in grave, set it, but it cannot be activated this turn. That's broken. Uh, simple spoil is deception. Continue spell. You can only use the first and second and third effect of this card once per turn. Three effects, so it's probably broken. You can tribute one monster from your hand or field. Add an Azamina card from your deck to your hand. Cool. So you open up this, you're guaranteed to open up the brain and the plan. Beautiful. If a monster is sent to your opponent's graveyard, you control an Azamina monster. You can make your opponent lose 1,500 life points if you do gain 1,500. Cool. So now we have a way to win in time because it doesn't do damage. It just makes them lose life points because of the keyword lose. During the end phase of this card's in your graveyard because it was sent there from the face-up spell and trap zone this turn, you can set it. I'm so sick of these simple spoils cards. I really am. I'm not even going to talk about the Goblin Biker cards because the Goblin Biker cards are liquid ass. Um... I'm so sick of this, you guys. I'm really fucking sick of it. Like, can we please have a ban list? Like, Konami posted today on Twitter, like, hey, here's our infinite forbidden reveals. And I'm like, I'm not going to, I literally commented and said, I'm not going to buy into a set when we don't even have a fucking ban list. Because there's no point. I'm just going to lose my money. Give us a ban list. <sighs> and we get Rage of the Abyss in October, which is before the YCS in Orlando in February. Like, I'm sure we're going to get another ban list before that, but... I'm so sick of this, you guys. I'm really sick of this this simple spoils crap. I don't care if it's Dia Bell Star support. I could be totally wrong about this stuff, and it could actually be just really bad. But this card saying tribute this card negate that effect. I'm I'm so sick of anything Snake Eyes or Dia Bell Star related. Like I really th this kind of shit makes me want to quit the game. And I've been playing for 16 years. I talked about my video previously, in my last video talking about like hand traps and stuff. And even the video before that, probably the video before that, probably the video before that. I said, look, I've been playing this game for 16 years. I've played in many different formats. Teledad, Dragon Ruler, Necroz. There is no format that is worse than the one we are in right now. I would rather deal with tier elements at full power. And that is debatable. Actually, not even debatably. That is definitely the deck that is most overpowered. And someone like Cali Effect, who has hundreds of thousands of subscribers, replied to my comment when I said that. And he said, I 100% agree with this. If someone of that big caliber is agreeing with a small channel like mine, don't you think that there's a problem in this game? I'm so sick of it. And I know that all, like a majority of you agree with me. And I'm sure I'm, I'm just ranting to, I'm preaching to the choir. Which, if y'all get a laugh out of this, then that's totally fine. Because that's kind of the point of this. But surely I'm not the only one that is so sick of this crap. This makes me want to quit the game. I'm not kidding. Because I'm so sick of seeing all this Dia Bellstar, Snake Eyes, Simple Spoil garbage. I, go shove a Simple Spoil up your Simple Spoil. I don't care anymore. Like, please, can we move on to... Honestly, I want more branded support just to get some other kind of lore in the game. I don't know why Konami has such a hard-on for this Simple Spoil lore support. Like... Are they trying to, like, tie something in that, like, Kazuki Takahashi talked about before his passing? God rest his soul. 
Like, I don't know why they have such a hard on for the support. Like, it's not like the OCG balance even did anything. The TCG balance is going to have to have like 30 hits on it at this point. Because Rage of the Abyss, we're going to be, you're looking at nine months, if not like a full year, of like Snake Eye Dio Bellstar stuff being tier zero. Because this only makes the deck better. Oh, I'm really sick of it. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you got a laugh, be sure to let me know down in the comments. Because that, that's kind of the whole point of this. But still, I'm just like... I'm I'm a whole, like, two vodka drinks in. And I'm just... I'm over this baby back bullshit. This... I'm, I'm, and I'm not kidding when I genuinely say this makes me want to quit the game. Like, I want a format where, like, Snake Eyes is non-existent. And it's... They, let's just give him a fusion that's a Baron de Fleur. I don't care if this card's not broken. Maybe we find out it's not broken. This card on paper looks broken, and I'm sick of it. Whatever. What, what do I know, I guess? <laughs>